guys, welcome back. It's me, Crystal Sky. How are y'all doing today? Today I am down here again, but I am alone this time. Hold on, just the lights a little. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. You know guys that on my channel I have been reading the book called Ingo. So today I'm going to be doing an inspired eyeshadow look. I'm not going to put foundation on because that might take long. My skin has been breaking out, like full on breakout. So I'm only doing the eyes. So uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... So as you see, the book is blue and kind of peachy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take my 350S Morphine palette. And what we're going to do is choose the colors. Uh, so we definitely, we definitely guys have a similar peach color. We don't have the exact peach color, but let's begin. So first let's get our brush. So let's get our, um, let's get our tip, tipped crease brush, which is, I don't know which one it is. Oh boy, I probably should have thought this out first. Tip crease brush. Tip crease brush. Let's find out which one that is. Angled liner. It's not that one. Tip crease, guys. We have to find tip crease. A small shadow. It's the big ones. All over. Okay, tip crease brush. It's... Tempered crease, it's this one. All right, so we got that out. Sorry if you hear footsteps, but we got the little tip crease brush. So, like I said, we don't really have... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, guys, let's make sure everything is okay. As you see, we don't really have... So we have to go with something that's similar to it. Hmm. Let's go with... Uh, sunbathe. I feel like sunbathe is the most similar one. It's this one, right? Wait, where is it? This one, right here. That's and so that's what we're gonna do on the outer line. It is sparkly. Oh boy. So I do have a mirror. So this one we're gonna have to do on the outer part of our crease. It's probably the closest. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely the closest. And sorry if you guys see my crusty ass face. <laughs> I like I said, I've been breaking out lately, and it's not been two words. It hasn't been fun. I also actually ended up scratching myself yesterday when I was trying to get something. So now I kind of have like a scratch on my arm. But yeah, so we have a tipped crease. It's hard to tell, but I will show you the look at the end. But we take the base thing. I feel like down here, it's definitely better to record down here. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit here. I feel like this one is not as dark as the one on this side. All right guys, so we got that part done. So now we're gonna take a different brush and we're gonna do for the blue part. So we're gonna go with We're gonna go with the tipped crease brush. Oh, actually no, we just use that one. Sorry guys. We're gonna go with the small shadow brush. So hold on. Small shadow brush. So we're gonna go with 
this one. And what we're gonna do is, as you see, the book has a bit of blue. So we're gonna choose the blue that matches this, like the ocean. We're not gonna do the top, the wavy part. We're gonna do the one that matches this. So for this one, hmm, I feel like sail away matches this one. So sail away is this one right here. It's this one, guys. This one right here. So we're gonna do that one for our bottom. Now I have been getting into makeup. I am kind of shabby at it, I'm not gonna lie. But I have been getting I have been getting like kind of good with it, semi good with it. I'm still a beginner, a learner. So for me, definitely this will be like hard to learn. I'm actually digging what I'm doing right now. Okay, hold on guys. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So like I said, I am a beginner. So this is definitely is a bit hard for me compared to my stepsisters thing, but you know what? We live, we learn, you know? We'll live we'll learn. So we're gonna do this one. Ow, I got in my eye. I got in my eye. Oh. For some reason, guys, I can close my um left eye. Depends on where you're looking at me from. But yeah, I can't close my right. So this is my left eye. This is my right. So I can close. Like, I can't close it. That's why it's hard for me to do my makeup and I can close with oh, this one. I can do Yeah, I see I can do it. Like it's crazy. Tell me if you guys can only do one because I can only do one. And pretty much guys that is sort of done. But what we're gonna do for the last thing is add a bit of sparkle to it for this one we're gonna use do not disturb on the blue thing so do not disturb is i'm trying not to break guys i just got this palette it's my very first like own palette but it's this one right here it might not look sparkly but guys it hello sparkly so we're gonna use the same brush we're just gonna dab a bit We're gonna dab if we're not gonna like, but we're just gonna dab a little. And actually, whoa, guys! I don't know if this looks good. Tell me if it looks good because I feel, I feel like it looks good. Yeah, it definitely whoa wait did i mess them up hold on no i don't think i messed them up because i want to leave a little bit of the blue but guys we are done so the last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put on my translucent powder onto my eyes and i'm gonna put lipstick on so i usually i obviously would usually do this with foundation not without i might actually go like this later on not obviously but yeah all i'm gonna do is put my loose translucent powder with one of my brushes oh god sorry i'm gonna take the one i used from last time which is the big fluffy brush so I have to take out. I probably should have taken this out before the video started. I'm gonna use this brush and just do it on my eyes. Hopefully it won't ruin it because I know a lot of people who do makeup, they also put translucent powder on their eyes. So I'm gonna close my eyes and just put it on like that. I know it would sound stupid, but I know some people do this, so.
just to make it a little bit lighter but that's done so i didn't put a lot because obviously it's my eyes and i did not want it to go in my eye so i'm gonna put that i'll put the brush back later last thing i'm doing is putting my lip gloss and my typical little thing on. so this was as i said in one of my other makeup videos this was made by my sister thank you love you so i'm gonna put this on and then i'm putting my h2o gloss this come in different color but i want it clear so hold on let me squeeze it out i always do this guys i always do this I'm gonna just do that between my lips. I love the fact that it's cherry. It reminds me of like when I used to like one of my candies that I used to like as a kid. Okay. Got that done. It kind of made my lips like pinky. Like a light light pinky. And then I just put my H2O gloss on them. I love this gloss. Oh my gosh. Like, I literally, I love this gloss, you guys. Sorry if I look weird. guys and there we go we have the finished product i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have this palette definitely try this look out or try to make your own look which i did but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this lovely video i know you are used to people that put foundation on their face but it is quite late outside right now this is why i'm making the video down here and on my usual spot because it's really dark. I think it's like 9, 10 o'clock right now. I couldn't film during the day because I was super busy. So I decided to do it during night. But the point is, guys, sorry about the foundation part. I know you, like I said, guys, are used to people that put foundation on. But I decided not to this time because, like I said, it's late. But anyway, I hope you still enjoy my video. Please like, please hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you like this book go check it out and um there oh before i end this video fun fact guys i actually found out that there's book two and book three so when i finish the, this little bad boy i am going to ask my mom to get me a new one but yeah guys try this makeup palette 35s it's a very summery palette and right now it's like popular in sephora like almost everywhere online so try to spell it out there's a lot of fun colors and yeah just try it out like if you love like those type of colors but anyway bye guys enjoy your day enjoy your knife whatever you're having dinner lunch i hope you guys all stay safe i hope this whole thing with covid just goes away already <laughs> now that all of us can have one and i love you guys to the bottom of my heart i thank you and goodbye guys